Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I have some recommendations for you. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends, seeing the country ends and winning. Lone Star Rider. Glad y'all stuck around. On uh, my website, LoneStarRider.com, I have created some pages with recommendations. Let's take a look and see how you find this here. You'll just type in LoneStarRider.com and it will take you to this page right here. And it, this is what this looks like. Right here, just under the, this top photo, is a menu. You can go to the welcome page and you can scroll down talks about my ride if you want to become a patreon or do a paypal donation uh, also a link to where you can make a donation for the riding for a cure where all that money goes straight to the american diabetes association all that is my existing page and right down here are my facebook links twitter instagram Pinterest and I don't know what that one's called <laughs> and uh, my YouTube which this is showing on so you're already already here there's an about me blogs I do blogs here you can follow me on this blog here uh, if you I post other things here every once in a while that are not on YouTube you can check this out also, you can click on photos. This needs to be updated. Videos, nothing on going on here. Uh, photos does have a few things going on. Like I said, it needs to be updated. Uh, this, where is Lone Star Rider? You can actually go here. And if you want to find out where I am, you just click on where in the hell is Lone Star Rider? And it will take you to a site that shows you my exact location, which is right here. All right, so, and if you want to see my sponsor list, and you can go here, and you can go and check out all my sponsors that are my sponsors now, or have been my sponsors. I have left them on the page here, and you can check these guys out. And if you do business with them, it'll say, what you need to do like if you go to trailer time enterprises just mention lone star rider and they'll hook you up all right now the new page that i have on here is called recommendations you'll click on this right here and i'll have a direct link to recommendations down below and these are all products that i that i've had used or that i'm now using and some of these things i bought some of these things i've just borrowed and used but they're all recommendations now this link right here Amazon link if you click on that and you go do shopping I get credit for that and I don't know what the percentage is that they send me but every little thing helps so if you scroll down I've got this really cool logo that I made for recommends and you'll see a little menu here motorcycle gears repair fix cameras trailer and camping solar I get questions about my solar all the time so there's a list of the solar stuff that I bought and miscellaneous and this one page is just a launching pad to all these categories so if we click on motorcycle gear can come down here and the first thing I have is a spot here and you can see the video review that I did on the spot which I believe that one takes you to a playlist and if you want to buy one you can click on the Amazon link again I'll get credit for that cool. the motorcycle helmet that I just got and there's a re helmet review there also there's also a review on the shark Evalon so I've done some uh, reviews here on some of this stuff. And if you click on 
repair and, and fix. Repair and fix are things that you should be carrying on your motorcycle. There's a Cycle Pump Expedition Tire Inflator. This is a must have. You gotta have a way to air up your tires after you have a flat. This particular air pump is awesome. Uh, I need to do a video review on it. I haven't done it yet. Also, you'll see other things in here like a Kobe's Vow Emergency Tire. You can put a tire vow in without taking the tire off the rim. It's pretty darn cool. Also, if you have a tubeless tire, there's tire pl pluggers. And this little particular thing here, I need to do a video on it. It's called Shug. It's a molded uh, glue. You just mold it and you can get, you can mold re and repair things like this cable here was fraying right here at the, uh, the joint and I put this Shug on it and it's pliable and it's it's awesome you just gotta gotta try it uh, also here's some uh, multiple plastic card forms which take a little bit more to use which are really cool so this is repair stuff um, there's some more things that I'm going to be adding to this page because there's like some a toolkit that I want to put on here that I'm using and some other cool stuff so this is going to be continually updated so you can check it out all right, I have a camera recommendation page. I've got the SD cards, micro SD cards I use. The camera, which is a Sony A6000. Uh, they do have a newer one, which is an A6600, which I wished I had, but I don't. Uh, it's quite a little bit more expensive, too. Uh, some lenses that I've used with that camera with this DJI Osmo Pocket. It's a great camera. There's a list here to where you can buy it. Also, I have the DJI action camera that I've been using. And I'm gonna tell you here right now that if you're gonna buy an action camera, buy the one down below it, the GoPro. I think it's a much better, uh, it's a much better action camera. Now also, the DJI Maverick Air is here. I've used one. I don't own one. I would love to own one, but there is one here. So if anybody wants to purchase this and send it to me, you're welcome to. <laughs> uh, but this is a recommendation and it's an awesome drone, especially for beginners. And it's small, easy to pack in your motorcycle. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, this is the tripod that I use. It's a great little tripod from Joby and I use a couple of other Joby tripods here which are awesome. Trailer camper. I get a lot of questions on my trailer. Where is it from and what I've done to it. So there are some stuff that I purchased and been using on the trailer. And one is the Max uh, fan that's on top that keeps me cool and ventilated on the inside. Here's something that I don't own but I've used, which uh, would be pretty cool. And it's neat. It's a quick little shelter set up. Now, these little stretch frames are awesome in the trailer. And if you have a regular RV, this would be awesome to have because you can just stick stuff in there and you don't have to worry about balancing them up. And real cool. I need two more of these. Uh, some LED road flares. These things are awesome. You can just put them out there and cut it on and they are bright. You don't have to worry about fires or anything like that you get with flares. A uh, Thermosel Backpackers Mosquito Repeller. I don't own one of these but I've used one of them and they're awesome. They help keep mosquitoes away and so forth. Now all the flashlights I have are from Olight and Olight makes some awesome awesome flashlights. I own three of them and I have them listed here and they are bright, the batteries last long, they're very efficient in their battery use and you can't go wrong with these flashlights and uh, yeah they're a little bit more expensive but the things will last you forever. I've had one of these old lights for almost four years now and it's a great light and I still use it. All right, the Lucy Light. I've got a video on the Lucy Light. These are uh, incredible solar lights. Uh, you never, never really have to plug them in. You just set them out in the sun and they charge and you can use them for a few days and stick them out in the sun again and they work again. And they put out some pretty good light. Awesome. 
I do uh, have a video review on this particular one here. Very cool. And the next category is the solar. The solar, I get asked all the time too. They go, is that a solar panel on top of your trailer? Yes, it is. And I have the solar panel here that I use. This solar panel that's on top there is a 100 watt solar panel and it's awesome. It's flexible. And that was the reason I bought it. So I could just wrap it around the curve on the front top of the trailer. And it's been charging my 48 amp battery and I've never had to plug it in to charge the battery from a AC outlet. This is an awesome, one of the best things I've ever done is put this solar panel on the uh, trailer in the Max fan. Uh, this is the cables that I bought with it. This is the controller, this smart solar controller that I put on the trailer uh, is also a Bluetooth uh, enabled controller. So I can just get my phone, open it up and then I can see the the charging history or what the charger's doing now if it's in a float stage or charging. Connection box I use to bring the cables in from the top into the trunk of the trailer to hook up to the controller and then the controllers to the batteries. And by the way, I, I watched like 20 videos to figure out how to set this solar system up. And uh, one of the... Uh, channels that was really really helpful was uh, Tito RV and with Tito or something I'll have his link down below uh, awesome I learned a whole lot about solar uh, this particular uh, solar charger and battery uh, power power bank I did a review on the older model this is the newer model and it's an awesome awesome battery that you can charge your phones or whatever on that and I use it all the time it's great and the last category that I have on here is miscellaneous that was some mountain house meals <laughs> mountain house makes some good freeze-dried meals here are three that I've, I've eaten and you can get those here on Amazon and it's a uh, write in the rain notebook. You can basically write on these things and they get wet and you're in the rain. You can write on the your notes on here. This tough tested micro USB cable charger is an awesome one. I also have one with the lightning connection onto it. Uh, they have a five year warranty. These things are getting hard to find. I don't know All if right. they're stopped. I don't know if they're stopped making these but you can still find them uh, the zipper pulls <laughs> these things are handy especially to have for an emergency uh, I had a pair of boots that zip on the side and the zipper broke on it uh, so I bought some zipper pulls and put them on there now I have them and I had to put a zipper pull on a jacket zipper that broke uh, so these are good to have around for emergencies <laughs> too so you should have zipper pulls on hand this right here is my toothbrush that I travel with it's a, a real you I can't even pronounce it anyway it has a the toothpaste built into it and you can get replacements for these and you can get them on Amazon I, I really like this toothbrush if you buy any of this stuff like I said all this stuff helps keep me on the road I get uh, money back on this from Amazon uh, also, I have a Amazon, what they call an affiliate store, and all these things are listed on the affiliate, on the affiliate store also. Uh, if anybody is curious, I've done my webpage on WordPress. It was really easy to build, and it's free unless you do some other stuff, uh, like have a custom URL up here. Lone Star Rider. I bought the domain, but so when you go here, it shows LoneStarRider.com. I think that's like uh, twenty-five dollars a year. But the WordPress site is easy, and that's what I do my website on and my blogs. If you have any other suggestions or you have a recommendation that you think maybe I should do, put it down in the comments. Or if you disagree with anything I say with my uh, recommendations, let me know uh, in the comments. It's okay. You know, let's talk about it. <laughs>
<laughs> when I first started this writing for a cure trip, I sold everything I've had and it pretty much has been supporting me with gasoline and food and some other stuff for writing for a cure. Uh, as time has gone on, I've, all those funds have pretty much dwindled down. So that's why I'm doing all this other stuff to help bring in uh, money for me to continue to mm -hmm. keep raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes. I have a long ways to go on my goal and I'm going to get there sooner or later. I really, really do appreciate y'all's support, guys. All this is to help keep me on the road. And I hope y'all have an awesome, I hope you have an awesome 2020 year. Guys, if you like this video and you like my recommendations, give me a big thumbs up, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. And also I'll show you the recommended, rec the, uh, the recommendation page. There's a cycle pump expedition tire tire and I can't say it but this is not what this video video pfft, and then I got the motorcycle motorcycle well you can put a tire a, and last but not oh well no I have two more never mind <laughs> and just cut that out